Um, okay. So next we have uh, Helsinki for Worldcon 75. Please come to the front of the room. Hello. So you have six minutes starting now. Uh, can I have my presentation start before my timer does? Where am I going? <laughs> From the beginning on the far left. Woohoo! Blue is a very finished color. There we go. All right. Hello, my name is Crystal Huff. I am one of the three co-chairs for Worldcon 75, which will be located in Helsinki, Finland, at the Mesokeskus Con Convention Center from 9th through 13th in August of 2017. Our guests of honor are Jean-Henri Holmberg, Nalo Hopkinson, Johanna Sinisalo, Claire Wendling, and Walter John Williams. Next slide. You may not know it yet, but you will now. Uh, 2017 is the 100th anniversary of Finnish independence from Russia. There will be a lot of exciting things going on in the country and in the city. There will be uh, a number of parts of the Swami 100 Udisa, which means Finland 100 together uh, program. And we are now an official part of this program as of, uh, I think, a week ago. Um, Next slide, please. This is a simplified version of the Helsinki public transit map. Uh, it is the trams and the trains. It is not the buses. The city of Helsinki has given all members free public transit to the convention uh, during the convention. Yes, to all members. Uh, this is. Members. Yes, all attending members. If you do not attend, you cannot ride the trams for free. Uh, this is once you get on site, you will pick up your, your transit passes. You will need to get yourself to the convention center in order to pick up your transit passes. Sorry. Um, this will also enable easy transit to some of the less expensive hotels, which are further out from our convention center if you do not get a room in the attached hotel to Mesokeskus. Uh, next slide, please. These are our current registration numbers as of today. We have 2057 supporting members and 1,003 attending members, which includes 42 youth and 19 children. I will note that youth are between the ages of 16 and 25 at the time of the convention, and children are between the ages of 6 and 15 at the time of convention. Uh, next slide, please. Ah, there we are. Never mind. Don't go to the next slide now. Uh, so we've had a lot of questions about our program. Our program will be approximately 10% not in English. Some of these fine languages may in fact be featured on our program. Finnish, Swedish, French, uh, German, Spanish, Russian, Japanese, and Chinese, I think in that order. Um, we have a program with the University of Helsinki Translation Department. They have offered volunteers to translate. Um, and we will therefore be evaluating program items based on what is interesting and fascinating with language as only a secondary concern. Uh, we also get government grants for being multilingual. So we are very excited at this uh, convergence of uh, a world in Worldcon. Uh, our program submission form is not yet online. We hope it to be online next month. Um, and it will be on our website. Anyone will be able to submit ideas and uh, want to participate on program. Next slide, please. This is our org chart. It has the three co-chairs in the middle, myself, Saya Aro, and Yukka Halme. And you can see with relative clarity which division reports to which conchair. It does not have names because that would make it very messy and hard to read from afar. Um, I'm sorry if it's still hard to read. It's really cool though. <laughs> um, we have over 200 volunteers so far just in Finland. 
Um, and we are staffing our convention with a very widely international team. We are still recruiting for some of these divisions, um, and we are still recruiting for many areas, uh, but this, I just wanted to show you this. I'm really excited about it. Um, you will also note that the purple circle surrounding everyone represents the project managers that are integral to our convention. Okay. Uh, next slide. Yes, that's us. I'm in the middle. Saya is on your left, my right, and Yuka is on my left, your, your right. I did that right. Um, we are here to help. We are very excited to bring Worldcon to Finland for the first time ever. Um, and I will note that if you have not yet become an attending member, one of those 1,003 people, our current registration rates will be valid through the end of the year. Also, we brought candy. Two of my division heads have been tasked <laughs> with giving you candy. candy. Emily has the alcoholic candy. <laughs> Doug has the non-alcoholic candy. <laughs> Emily to the high table, please. <laughs> Emily to the high table. <laughs> and I will teach you a Finnish word, although you do not need to know Finnish to go to Worldcon 75. That, Emily, don't peen anyone. <laughs> that, that is time. All right. Questions? All right. <laughs> All right. Moving on to question time. Hold on. No, no. Any, if anybody actually has questions, flag <laughs> down somebody for the paper to bring it to the front of the room, please. Um, all right. So, starting with the questions that we already have up here. I was going to say, I heard you already had one. Yes. Uh, so, we have the, the ones that we hit before. So, um, there, where, where did that paper go? Not this one. Oh, sorry, this one. Um, so... Uh, so again, we had, uh, we, we had uh, sign language and CART uh, at, at this year's Worldcon, and the question is, is anything like that going to be available, and if so, where do you plan to have it cover? Okay, so we are incredibly excited that Worldcon this year was very accessible to a range of people attending the convention at Sasquan, and we hope this tradition will continue, that it will become a, a more tradition thing. Uh, we are looking into Finnish Sign Language. Uh, we have some volunteers for American Sign Language. I don't know if either of those will for sure pan out. CART is a more important in terms of accessible to everyone, uh, particularly hard of hearing people who haven't learned sign um, service. <laughs> Thank you, that was very funny. Um, and we do intend to provide CART services um, I have noted that it was particularly useful at the business meeting at this year's Worldcon, but there are other places where I think CART services would help everyone um, and people wouldn't have to repeat questions from the front of the room when somebody needs to speak up more, et cetera, et cetera. All right, I'm going to do my best Finnish accent, which I have no idea on. The question is, I saw on your org chart something about Ops Turva. What's turva? Turva is the Finnish word for safety, security. safety and security. Um, and it is the Finnish understanding of ops. It is not quite what we understand ops as in the US. Um, our head of ops slash turva is Karo Lekoma, who was one of the board members for the bid. Um, and her deputy is Pat McMurray. McMurray uh, who is a Brit. Um. All right, so we have two related questions. I'll do one and, and Randy will do the other. Uh, repeating one that's come before, uh, what is your group doing to reach out to local fan groups, both con running and non-con running in your region and encourage them to attend and possibly volunteer? Okay, so we have already had two meetings with uh, within Helsinki to reach out to locals, both those who are already in fandom and who are very excited that we've won the World Con, and those who had never heard of Worldcon and not necessarily been a part of fandom, but who had seen a flyer that we put up or a note that we put up. Uh, there, 
there's been a lot of excitement in Finland. There have been a lot of news articles about us in, in the Finnish newspapers. Um, we, uh, I noted earlier that we have over 200 uh, Finnish volunteers already signed up. Um, there has already been the Finnish annual convention for convention runners, which is not SMOFCON. <laughs> Uh, I think it's called ConComCon? No, that's a different one. Do you remember? Yeah, never mind. What he said. <laughs> um, the, uh, the result of which is that we have a lot of excitement about not only attending our Worldcon, but being on our staff. And this is really exciting. What portion of uh, Finns make up your attending membership currently? I don't no know. Idea. Actually, I did not get that statistic yet. I apologize. Do you have a rough guess? Uh, like anybody here is going to grade you on the answer. Yeah. Make no, it is a, no is an acceptable answer. 50%. There we go. Okay. 15%. Okay. 15, 50, one of those fives. We got it. Okay. Um, uh, will there be an art show? Uh, and if so, will shipping art from the U.S. be possible? Of course there will be an art show. Um, and of course there will be art shipped from all over the world, we hope. Um, we have, as a bid, we put a lot of thought into this and tasked uh, a staffer with figuring out how to complete the logistics depending on where the art was coming from because we anticipated more questions about this as a bid. Um, I am not the co-chair who was in charge of that part of the question and answers, so I don't remember those answers right now. Well, well we, haven't, we haven't even gotten to half of your question time, so I think we have time to bring him up if we, if we want to give a better answer. He's not a co-chair. Oh, darn. Sorry. Oh, I, thought, I thought you meant that Emily had the answer. No, um, so, I mean Saya had the Saya. answer. There you go. <laughs> and as we all know, Saya and Emily do not share a brain. There we go. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think it's right. good. Um, there we go. So that's a, yeah, so that can pretty much ask straight up. Okay, because my understanding is your default is electronics and there will be a charge for mailing print publication to supporting members. And that if so, what will that amount be? That amount is 10 euros or $12 US. And that's inclusive of all print publications. All print to be publications. Issued. Okay, thanks. Um, and then uh, what's the current uh, dollar to euro exchange rate? Uh, it is. One euro is one dollar and nine cents is what I looked up earlier. Is that inaccurate from yesterday? Close enough. Close um, enough for government okay. work. So uh, to jump back to something that, that came up at the bids that nobody necessarily asked, but it's useful to have people in the room know the answer. Um, how many international flights a day roughly are coming into Helsinki's airport? I, I, it's, it's on the FAQ. <laughs> I, I it, just think it this totally is, is. It is many. It is many. <laughs> Helsinki is an international hub. Uh, it is a, a hub airport between Japan and China and our part of the world, and so many, many international airport airlines. Our here meaning Europe. Yes, our here meaning Europe. <laughs> okay. uh, it's a lot. It, this is not a concern. All right. Fair enough. Um, that reaches the limit of the questions that we have for Helsinki. And not seeing any more from the room, I thank you. Okay.